I had a really rough night in uh, a, a place called Kellebaran, which is in here, rural WA. Okay. Um, where it's small town, we'd been booked. I, I think a friend of mine had booked it, so it was just kind of, hey, come come along. There was a, a group of us, and just at the local pub, and we got up. And I think there was one other pub in town. Okay. So it's just it's a, a two pub town, and the other one to steal business from the pub that's promoting. We've got comedians on tonight. Mm. Put a stripper or a skimpy barmaid or something on. So everybody went there. So we didn't have a lot of people come to see us. The one thing that it was to do that night, but we weren't stripping. So that was. <laughs> Well, you could have. We could have. I have done a pretty shit gig before <laughs> where I turned up and they it was um, uh, it's a surprise uh, entertainment act was how it was listed. And when we uh, it was me and a mate and uh, turned up and they said, "Oh, um, just so you know, we haven't told anyone it's a comedian. We just sort of left it as a a, su- a surprise thing." And it's been really funny because everyone's kind of suggesting what it might be, and and everyone seems to think it's a stripper, which is why we're not telling them. So that's pretty funny. That's pretty and we're funny. Thinking, not really for us because sure enough, the, the girl gets up and says, oh, there's been a lot of talk about what our surprise act might be <laughs> and everybody said it's a stripper. You're wrong. It's comedians, but if they're not funny, maybe we'll get them to take their clothes oh, off. No. Enjoy. So that did not go down well. But this was, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing this show and I'm on stage and it's just not working. Like mm. it's, it's, I've had bad gigs where the audience is is talking and that's, the worst thing you could mm. wish for. Silence. I know it sounds horrible, but at least they're listening. Mm. Talking, they're not even paying attention. Yeah. So there's a bit of chatter going on. And then someone in the audience yelled something out, you know, whatever it was, get off, you're not funny, shut up. The usual. The ones. usual. But then someone else in the in the audience yells out to him to shut up. Mm. And then they <laughs> start arguing oh, no. with each other where the guy's like, Shut up. Well, no, you shut up. And then it starts going, well, what would you know, Wombat? You're a dickhead. <laughs> and then it's like, well, you haven't didn't return my lawnmower from last week. And I'm on <laughs> stage so just rude. going, what is this? So there's this argument between, because the town is so small, they all know each other. <laughs> Quite a personal so one, yeah. Heckling each other by name with very personal <laughs> barbs about people who haven't returned household items. You borrowed that weeks ago. You you can't be trusted. So then they're fighting and I'm – so I just stopped talking. And, the, and then it's just turned into this sort of back and forth between the two of them. And it was escalating too. Oh, no. Like I thought someone's going to – there's going to be a punch on here. And then it just sort of died down or eventually I just sort of said, okay, well, I tried to make light of it and just went, I think I'll, I'm just going to go. And I left. <laughs> And it was, uh, yeah, it, it got quite tense because, well, firstly, you're like, this sucks. And there's nothing worse than before you even walk out on stage, mm. you, you know it's going to be bad. Mm. Gigs can turn, but the ones that before you even set foot on stage, you're like, oh, shit. You okay. feel it. And every minute feels like forever mm. and you've got to do your 20 or whatever it is. Uh, and you feel like saying to the audience, I know. I, I don't I don't want I know you don't want me here, but I don't want to be here either. And yeah. what are we gonna do? Um but that one also came with this. I think I'm about to be possibly part of a I'm gonna witness a fight mm. or I may get dragged into a fight. Yeah. And I can't help but feel I started this by just trying to be funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, so yes, uh, but again, at least there's a, a halfway decent story at the end of it. But that was pretty funny. There's some sh- in the moment. It was it was again one of those things. It wasn't until afterwards, and we, we're all because we're we, we all had a pretty rough night. And there is also the benefit of usually when you go down, you all go down as a, a, a group. Mm. You know, I've done solo shows where you're like, "What the fuck are you even doing here? Why you mm. come to see me and you're not having a good time?" So it's easy to kind of deflect that as. Mm. Well, mate, everyone else has been enjoying themselves. So if this audience tonight are not into it, I, I don't know what to tell you. Mm. But there's something about the camaraderie that this business gives you. Yeah. Because you can all just at the end of it have a group hug and go, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> yeah, that's and, that, so true. and that was one of them where we all just went, what was that about? And then as you talk it through and the, the adrenaline starts to come down, you can have a bit of a laugh and go, what was – are they about to have a fight over a lawnmower? <laughs> Wombat, what happened? Just give 
a lawnmower back, Wombat. <laughs> So, yeah. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh, my God. Poor Wombat. Wombat, if you're listening, yeah, I hope mate, you've got your... Just give the lawnmower back, mate. 